everybody just assumed coming into this season that the Oakland Athletics would be by far the worst team in the league, definitely in the American League, but it's not even close right now. The Chicago White Sox are 3-18 and to start this season, but they are catching the ice-cold Minnesota Twins, who have lost six of their last seven. Does Minnesota deserve to be a $2 favorite, but can we possibly trust the White Sox? I'm going to give you some information on the side, but I think the total is actually the best play in this game. There is a good money-making opportunity. I'm going to give that to you free with analysis here in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, back here on Wager Talk TV, and I'm breaking down your national TV game. Yeah, let's put the 3-18 and White Sox against the 7-13 and Twins on Fox Sports 1 national TV, but that's how the schedule has it at 7.40 Eastern tonight. So there will be a good amount of betting interest in this game because it is nationally televised. And I think there is a play with the total, and I'm going to get right to it. The under is the only way to go here. It might seem obvious. It might seem too easy. But I still don't think the odds makers have fully adjusted for how bad both of these offenses are. You know, everyone talks about starting pitching in baseball. It's less important than ever because starters barely go half the game anymore. The randomness of the bullpens come into play. Minnesota's actually had a very good bullpen this year, one of the best in the league, a 2.8 ERA, a 1.17 whip. And as bad as Chicago is, 3-18 and straight up, 1-9 and on the road, their bullpen's been pretty average. 3.9 ERA, a 1.46 whip. The problem, as is often the case with these really bad teams, is the offense. Chicago's averaging just two runs a game, batting 187 as a team. Not much better on the road, two and a half runs, 206 average. Twins, meanwhile, batting 195 in all 20 games this season, barely over three runs a game. They've been even worse in their eight home games, two and a half runs. 174 average. So both road and home, White Sox twins are two and a half runs a game. That would equate to a five run game here. Both teams barely getting to the Mendoza line of 200 on the batting average. Yet this total is eight and a half. Doesn't make much sense. Um, You know, I know we have the designated hitter now in all the leagues. We don't see a lot of sevens anymore like we used to see in the National League. But man, it's like four or five pitchers are hitting for each team here as bad as these offenses are. Until we see otherwise, we will continue to play the under in Twins and White Sox games, and it is cashing. Now, Chicago did go over their last two games in Philly this weekend, but don't think that's because the offense got hot. It didn't. Uh, They had just seven total runs. In fact, they had only seven total runs in all three games in Philadelphia in the three-game set, and they had just uh, 13 total hits. The reason the last two games went over is because they gave up an eight and nine runs, but I'm not sure the Twins, who are averaging two and a half runs a game at home, can take full advantage. Now, as far as the side in this game, there will be some value at some point with Chicago. They're 3-18 and straight up, but even the worst team in baseball wins at least 50 games or more. Now, Oakland was horrendous last year, and they still got to 50 games. Uh, you go back uh, 56, uh, the Royals, Kansas City Royals were the second worst team last year. Um, if you go back to the year before that, um, basically everybody got into the 60 wins. The A's even had 60 wins back that year. Not my Washington Nationals, the worst team two years ago with 55 wins. And then you go back to 2021, the Orioles and Arizona Diamondbacks both had 52 wins. Obviously, they've become much better since. The other thing I want to point out about how bad the White Sox have gotten, and don't think all of a sudden there's going to be value with them anytime soon, they were the division winner just uh, three years ago. In 2021, they won the division with a 93-69 and win just three seasons ago. Uh, But they had a minus four units on the money line. They were a vastly overrated team. They won 93 games, won the division. They still lost you money on the money line. So maybe that was a little bit of foreshadowing that this was a team that was overrated on the decline. 2022 season, people were expecting good things. They went 81 and 81, did not win the division. They were eight units below on the money line. And then the wheels fell off last year, just 61 and 101, 20 wins less, 20 more losses last year. And they were the worst team in baseball against the money line, 30 units lost last year in the 2023 season. So why should it be a surprise that the White Sox are three and 18 they're already down almost 13 units, the worst, the biggest money burner last year and the biggest money burner so far this year. So we have to see them turn things around and we have to see the offense pick up before we can trust them. Yes, they will probably win another 40-some games minimum over the next 140 games, but I don't think it's going to be tonight. Minnesota also, after losing six of their last seven, will not overlook this game. They remain at home after losing two or three to the Detroit Tigers. And another thing I'll point out is Minus 200 is a big price to lay with a 1-16 in their last seven. The run line does get it down to minus 1.5, minus 105. The problem, though, is I think this will be a low-scoring game. So the 1.5 makes me a little nervous with the Twins, as two of their last four wins over the past couple weeks have been by exactly one run. What you could do if you want to play the Twins here, 
Once again, I like the under better, but I do lean twins also, is play minus one run line. Now, a lot of books offer that now, but if you don't have that if your local book, you can still make it by playing half a unit on the money line minus 200, half a unit on the minus one and a half run line minus 105, and that comes out to the minus 152, minus 153 range, and you get you can make a minus one run line if you don't have it readily available. So that'd be the way I'd play this side is Minnesota minus one, and the total under eight and a half seems way too high for these two terrible offenses. Look, they could break out. Anything can happen in a one-game series. Um, but once again, these offenses are really struggling. I need to see them start hitting the ball before I trust either one of them. That's your Fox Sports national TV game, believe it or not, at 740 Eastern tonight on Monday. Hey, comment below. Do you want to see more of these daily videos? I'm doing an NBA playoff preview for every playoff game every day for the next two months. I have all three NBA playoff games tonight in that standalone video. Check that out. Yet another reason to hit subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss out. And let me know if you want to see more of this free baseball content on a daily basis. I'll keep it coming also. Please comment below. I honestly read all the comments and I reply back. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Other best bets you'd like tonight on Monday in MLB as well. Hey, throw in some pitcher props. First inning, yes, no run props. Anything else you're looking at, let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. Thumbs up, like as well if you're finding it useful. Last chance tonight on Monday to get my 10-day special for just $99, and you might want to consider it. We're talking baseball here, and baseball is always great. It's a daily moneymaker for the next several months. But don't forget about the NBA playoffs. Perfect 3-0 sweep on Saturday and Sunday for my clients to start the NBA playoffs right. And it should be no surprise. I was 29-17, and 17, 63% of the NBA postseason last year as part of a 103-63 and 63 NBA season. I'm number one this year in the NBA sides and totals combined. 3-0 starting the playoffs this weekend. And I'm number one all time in the history of the wagertalk.com website in units one of the NBA. So it shouldn't be a surprise. I'm number one again this year. And I'm off to a fantastic start in the playoffs. We have more, two more months to go. Get the NBA playoffs special right now. Or if you want to try it out for the next 10 days, it's just $99. Normally a seven day is $99, but you're getting an extra three days and nights for free. But you have to sign up today on Monday. That offer expires at midnight. 10 days for just $99. It's a fantastic offer. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Now, if you want the entire playoffs and the next three months of baseball, all the way until football starts on August 1st, the preseason begins. Get the next 102 days and nights of my baseball and basketball best bets for just $5 a day. That special is going this week only, and that's also available. It's once again a 10-day. Works out to about $10 a day the next three months for just $5 a day. No promo codes needed. Those are limited-time offers, and I am red hot. Baseball and basketball winners continue. Don't miss out. Get on board. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Also post free plays every day. I've got a free bonus baseball game, a game I didn't give out on the videos, a bonus free baseball play for Monday night on my page right now. So be sure to check that out, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Also follow me on Twitter for free plays, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter and X. And also post free plays throughout the week on Instagram. Yeah, I'm on IG. Who knew? Follow me on Instagram along with Wager Talk as well. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great basketball and baseball previews. Coming up next.